This thing is massive. This is the Sigma SD Quattro, of course, that was released, I believe, back in 2017 or announced 2017, released 2018. Provides amazing quality and now, recently, just a few hours ago at Photokina, Sigma has announced, besides their L Alliance, that they are producing a full frame version of this guy. This guy is already a beast. The size of this thing really should be something that you fit a giant full frame camera in. And uh, you know, all this, all the other Sigma Foveon uh, people are pretty much peed in their pants when this thing was announced. And no, it's not April Fools. They actually said they were gonna do it at some point in time and they are gonna do it. They're gonna release the body next year. And I just, wow. Just really, really amazing announcements. So this is directly from DP Review. Uh, Sigma said they will create a full frame Foveon camera and will adopt the Leica L mount for its system. So there's this new L mount alliance that includes uh, Panasonic with their recently uh, announced full frame mirrorless camera that's coming out next year, as well as the Leica L mount. Um, Leica has already been doing L mounts for years now. They're all really, really expensive, as most all Leica lenses are. So they already have those lenses. And then Panasonic joined the team, of course, so they're going to have their own lenses. And then Sigma. So the three of them are going to produce some great uh, full frame lenses for uh, full frame sensors. Yeah. So the full frame L mount Foveon will arrive in 2019, according to Sigma CEO Kazuto Yamaki. The company will produce its first native L-mount lenses in 2019. Here's the really interesting thing, though. Uh, the company will not be... Well, he said the company would not create any more cameras using its proprietary SA mount. So that's the end of line for the Quattro series. Um, however, existing SA mount users will not be left out on code. A cold. The company will be able to convert some SA mount lenses to L-mount. So you can send them in. You know, I've never done that before. I heard that they've been doing this for years, 20, 30 years or so. But you can imagine that the ones that will be allowed to be converted will be, you know, things like their Sigma uh, art lenses. And but then those who want to retain Sigma uh, SA mount compatibility will be able to use an SA to L uh, mount adapter. So pretty much that's what most people who are moving up from the system are going to do. You're going to get another adapter that sticks out you know, to attach it onto your new full frame. Uh, Sigma will also make a Canon EF to L mount adapter available. So that's going to be extremely interesting because now that if Sigma is, of course, you know, the best, well, I want to say one of the best, if not the best, uh, third party uh, lens manufacturer for all these other companies, if they're going to produce an EF to L mount adapter, just the same way they produce their own little uh, Sigma SA to, uh, to um, FE adapters for Sony, then you can take all your, can they're going to take all the people who were in Canon who, you know, are jump are wondering if they're going to jump the fence and move on a full frame, whether it be Foveon, whether it be uh, Lumix, right? Or whether it be Leica and just take them all uh, from, from, uh, from Canon and uh, really beat them. Like just, just, really really beat them at it for all those people who are not really super happy about the uh, Canon mirrorless announcement recently myself included but um, so Foveon full frame this of course is a picture of uh, this guy right here and um, the move to full frame should uh, offer further improvements to the image quality of the Foveon design which interprets color by capturing light at three different depths I know a ton of you out there that are watching this are gonna say hey let's 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 sign a petition, Sigma. Let's let's bring back the Merrill sensors, uh, make it full frame. None of this uh, Quattro BS, right? Um, I've never got a chance to play with the Merrill uh, system, or um, I know there's files out there you can download, but I'm already impressed with the Quattro. Imagine what uh, what the what the um, Merrill system will be able to do. So. Um, Anyway, a larger sensor won't in itself reduce uh, read noise or noise that stems from color convolution. Things have that have been, have hampered dynamic range and low light capability in previous Foveon chips. However, it should let the camera capture more light, which will reduce the impact of noise from other sources. So finally, uh, you know, with a full frame, we'll be able to use past 400, you know, 800 ISO. I'm hoping. Uh, wishful thinking would be 1600 ISO on a Foveon sensor. Uh, so 
Um, we were impressed with the performance and good light of the Sigma SDH, uh, SD Quattro H, which used a large in size APS-C size APS-8 sensor, but were put off by the need to invest in proprietary lenses. The move to the L mount, both as an end in itself and as a mount that allows DSL our lenses to be adapted to should ease these concerns. Yeah, I definitely do think that would help a bit, particularly on the photography side. Obviously, Fulvion is not going to be any good for video. Uh, there's just too much going on there. Any, and can you imagine trying to shoot video on a thing that actually doesn't even give you that much in photos uh, by itself? Yeah, that'd be absolutely crazy. But this is what's extremely interesting. Um, with this new L Alliance, if you want you want amazing, amazing pixel peeping sharpness. You now have Sigma as a choice for full frame next year. And, uh, you know, if you want video, um, you got Panasonic on board, right, with the uh, full frame video as well, not to mention their GH series. It'll probably be a GH6 next year or GH6S, I don't know, whatever it is that they might call it. So this is this is a very, very interesting set of uh, announcements. I'm definitely looking forward to see what's going on here. And then let's not forget about Micro Four Thirds, uh, at least on the video side. I'm definitely interested in, well, that's, that's for a different video. But uh, Blackmagic Design, that is coming out. A lot of interesting things happening, guys. A lot of interesting things happening. Kind of makes you wonder for all you the rest of uh, us well normal people if they're going to um, want to upgrade from their iPhone 10 10 s's etc uh, to get to get uh, really really captivating jaw dropping images that you would be able to get from a foveon sensor all right well, that's it for this video there are tons of comments on here about uh on dp review since they were the first to uh announce it and um yeah a lot of good stuff this is this is going to be very very interesting indeed all right please like this video give it a thumbs up and um yeah subscribe for more thanks for watching